I'd like to talk about two books that I really enjoyed using when I was an undergraduate. Even though I didn't take engineering, I was a math major, but these books were still very helpful. In fact, I had these books since I was in high school because I was really interested in calculus and I wanted to know more. So I knew about them for quite a while. The first thing to note is that they're both by the same authors. One is engineering mathematics, the other one is advanced engineering mathematics. So they are meant to be used for the usual two to three course sequence that engineering majors would take. A calculus sequence starting from single variable calculus and going through multivariable calculus. One thing to note about these books is that both of them are huge. This one is about a thousand pages, this one is about 1200 pages. They may be very thick, lots of pages, but that's not so much because of the amount of material in terms of, you know, a large number of topics covered, but because of the way the material is laid out. These books are very example heavy and the examples are laid out generously on each page and with lots of detail. Also in these books, the exercises have answers all of them, not just the odd numbered ones or the even numbered ones. All exercises have answers in the back of each book. Taking a look at the first one, the summary table of contents. It starts with foundational topics and then goes into more advanced ones. And when they say foundational, they mean really foundational. Arithmetic, expressions and equations, graphs, linear equations, partial fractions, trigonometry, and differentiation and integration. Taking a look at linear equations and simultaneous equations, you can see that they actually teach you how to solve linear equations, telling you the definition of it, and then giving you an example. This equation is very basic. You just want to solve for x, and they show you how to do that. So this book really starts gently and leads you into advanced material. So even a student who was somewhat weak in high school school math can go through this book from start to finish and they can get an A in engineering mathematics. So the book has complex numbers, hyperbolic functions, vectors and matrices, differentiation, partial differentiation, series, integration, some applications of integration, polar coordinates, multiple integrals, differential equations, and the Laplace transform. It also has some statistics and probability. As to what I was saying about the way the book is laid out, let's take a look at complex numbers. In this chapter on complex numbers, they start with quadratic equations and then show some explanation about the symbol i. You can notice that this alone takes up two pages. And these examples of addition and subtraction and multiplication of complex numbers, they each take up full pages with all the details written out. This is indicative of the usual approach that these books take. In the preface, they call it programmed learning, meaning that the book is divided into targeted sections with a very clear objective. So it develops some particular topic or some particular skill very gradually. So you finish one program and then you move on to the other. That's how the book is. You can see here it says program one of this section. Advanced engineering mathematics is very similar. The topics are, of course, a continuation of what was covered in engineering mathematics. Looking inside, this one doesn't have a summary table of contents, so I'll have to look through the detailed one. It starts with the numerical solution of equations and interpolation. So you can see it even covers things like Lagrange interpolation. There's a lot on Laplace transforms and Z transforms, as well as Fourier series and the Fourier transform. There's a section on power series solutions of ordinary differential equations, as well as numerical solutions of ODEs. Quite a bit of material on PDEs, then multiple integration, vector analysis, so you have things like divergence theorem, Stokes theorem, Green's theorem, the usual topics that you would see in a multivariable calculus course or advanced calculus, as you might know it. The complex analysis that is covered in this book is fairly advanced. It's not just an introduction to complex numbers because you can see they have the cauchy riemann equations, contour integration, Laurent series and residues and such. So the material in here for complex analysis is a significant amount of what would be taken in an actual course course in complex analysis for a math undergrad, at least a first course in complex variables. And there's a last program on optimization and linear programming. This may or may not be included in an engineering math syllabus, but it's there in this book. And as I said before, to the back of the text, you see all answers to all problems. So to recap, these books are great for engineering mathematics students as well as students taking 
single variable calculus or multivariable calculus. They're great for self-study. They have lots of exercises and all answers at the back. So you can check to see when you're wrong or right. The potential downside of these books is that they are very huge. So you might not want to carry them around a lot, but they're huge for a reason. All exercises and explanations are very well spaced out and written in lots of detail. I don't regret the investment I made and I would recommend them to anyone.